Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am uh, well aware of the eclipse coming on April 8th uh, and other signs in the sky, uh, namely the planetary alignment and uh, um, the uh, Devil's Comet coming around Passover and then again later uh, close to Pentecost. I'm well aware of that and I understand there are lots of documentaries out there that are fine, that are understanding this is a very prophetic event. There are so many things to understand. Uh, I've just finished reading even just one book on uh, all of the different city names that are being darkened and things like that. There's so much to talk about with it that it would take an enormously long video uh, to cover it all. So what I'm going to do instead is do a series that will probably be seven or eight videos total that are shorter, uh, focus on different themes of it. What I've found is there are all kinds of people, different great biblical scholars, watchmen who are, you know, some have talked about the Bible codes around it. Others have talked about the historical nature of it and wars in our past. Others have looked at the Aleph and the Tav designs that are being uh, created with the pathways and others talking about the cities and uh, Carbondale. And, and, there, and there's even more than all of that. All right. But I haven't, everybody's finding words prophetic words associated with it. I haven't yet seen anybody uh, point out the sentences, putting the words together and understanding the sentences that God is, seeing, is speaking to us through this great sign. It is a, a, a sign from him. There is no doubt about that. And as we do these videos, you're going to see, um, you say, well, what are we, you know, if you are someone who's doubting we should that whether we should be looking at an eclipse as a sign, then the only question I have for you is if you are a Bible-believing Christian or not. If you're not, then your question makes sense. And I'd say you really just need to ignore this video. I guess don't worry about it so much, although you'll see things happen and realize it was fulfilled. But uh, you should really go look at the evidence for Jesus Christ, his resurrection, who he said he was. Uh, really look at the evidence for a creator. You really need to settle those issues first. Okay. But if you are a professed Bible-believing Christian, then you should know that God said he created the sun, the moon, and the stars as signs so that we would know not only the days but and the months, but also the seasons, the time we're in. That's not astrology to look at the sky for signs of prophet, of, of telling you what time in history we're in. That's what God intended them for. Astrology is when you try to take the planets and the stars and use them to manipulate your universe or manage your life, okay? Uh, like a religion, that is, that's astrology. It's a form of witchcraft. Astronomy is the observation of the stars, and biblical astronomy would be looking at the stars to discern what God might be speaking about some things. Anyway, speaking about this eclipse, um, there's two eclipses that are crossing over a, a place called Little Egypt in the United States. The first one came in 2017. The second is coming on April 8th, 2024. And there was a, an annual eclipse that came down in 2023. Uh, all three are related. I'm going to focus on uh, right now the one that came in 2017. This is the first sentence we need to understand. The first thing we need to understand about it is the city's that it darkened. This has been mentioned by others. A lot of people are aware that the eclipse of 2017 was the first total eclipse over the United States in like 100 years. It's a rare event. And this one covered seven cities called Salem. The very first city that it darkened was called Salem, is Salem, Oregon. Okay, that's the very first city it darkened. The last city that the eclipse darkened in South Carolina is called Graves, like dead people where they're buried graves, which is ominous. So seven cities called Salem. Others have, some critics have said, oh, well, there's 36 Salems in the United States. And so the chance that it would cover seven, that's not that big a deal. Well, you're going to see it's a bigger deal as we get into the next videos. Uh, especially when you see the 2024 one. But of the three eclipses, there are only 36 Salem's in the United States. That's true, more than seven. But they are uh, 
uh, but you have these three narrow lines. So most of the territory, the overwhelming majority of the territory of the United States is not darkened by these eclipses. Okay, just three narrow lines. Those three narrow lines cover, darken, 33 of the 36 Salem's in the United States. Okay, and the 2017 eclipse darkens exactly seven, not six, not eight, not nine, not 10, not five, not four, but seven. Seven being the number of completion. Much has been made of the fact that uh, Salem is a part of the word Jerusalem, the name Jerusalem, and yes, it is. But it also doesn't say Jerusalem, it says Salem. And that is, and while uh, there is a connection to Israel and Jerusalem, and I believe the connection is the judgment, the, the last straw of our judgment is coming because we divide Jerusalem. And I believe it is Donald Trump is going to do that once he's actually in office. But we force Israel to divide Jerusalem and then judgment hits us in full, okay, as a result. So it is connected to that in that sense. However, um, it doesn't make sense to say uh, Jerusalem completely darkened, but the word Salem means peace, okay? Shalom, Salem, the same word means peace. So Salem means peace, the eclipse is darkening these cities, and there's seven of them, which speaks to completion. So the sentence God is speaking is, peace to be darkened completely, or complete darkening of peace, meaning war is coming, is what it's speaking, and it will end in graves. Total darkness is coming to peace. Peace is being darkened completely, and it will end in graves, obviously many graves or he wouldn't be announcing it. And uh, what is a solar eclipse a symbol of anyways? Well, the sun is a symbol for Jesus Christ. The earth is a symbol for the world. The moon is a symbol for God's people. So God's people are blocking Christ from the world. They are darkening the sun's light, which is truth, okay? They're darkening the truth of Christ from the world. And this is what uh, the church is doing, I mean, with these mega churches and everything, and I just created this video about the wrecking ball church, punted the Bible off the stage. The church is darkening the truth of Christ so the world can't see it. And that is causing, uh, going to lead to the judgment. If the church would repent, if the church would get back to speaking truth in boldness and love, uh, then we would avoid judgment. So we really shouldn't blame the world. We should blame ourselves for not speaking truth. Um, anyways, that's what a solar eclipse represents. That's the first sentence. Peace to be darkened completely, ending in graves. That's the sentence, the main sentence, that the first eclipse of 2017 is writing us. There's more in it than just that. Even what happened in Salem in 2017 uh, that's prophetically pointing to why there's an X over Salem, just like there is over Little Egypt and over San Antonio. Three strikes and you're out, three Xs. Uh, there's three three issues uh, that we're being judged for, uh, besides Jerusalem. So uh, anyways, that's about it for this first video. I hope it was informative. Uh, join us for the next in this series where we're going to be talking about more of the prophetic uh, elements to the coming uh, American eclipse. See you soon.